on the street, respect is a big deal. A lot of times that's all you have. If another man tries to trample that, you take it real personally. All right, let's get ready to rock. For street beefs, the rules are simple. Two fighters, three rounds, no biting, no eye gouging, no groins, no throat chops, no cursing, don't insult the fighters, and obviously no drugs, alcohol, or filming. Thanks, y'all. And whoever wins, they got the honor and the dispute solved. How you feeling, brother? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty pumped up. These guys are really angry with each other, and if these guys didn't come here and solve it with gloves, they may end up killing each other. Are you ready for street beef? Yeah. Let's fight! So we're gonna go to Northfield where a homeboy got shot. Harrisonburg, Virginia, it's a small town in the Shenandoah Valley. It's kind of like the tale of two cities. This little street used to be wild. This was once labeled the meth capital of the United States. Back when I used to sell drugs back in the late 90s, I went to that building right there. You got what the outside world would know about, that it's a college town. <laughs> then you got what's on my side of the tracks, which is more drugs, more crime, more despair. So this, what we going up on now is Kelly Street. The police have put cameras up here because of all the drug and gang activity. Murders have happened over here. Because of the access to guns and beefs combined, a lot of shit gets settled with guns. What's up, buddy? All right, brother, later on. A couple days before fight day, I usually go out on the streets talk to people, try to find out who's beefing with who. So we're going to talk to Ahmad. He's got a beef with another guy named Diamante. Hopefully me and him can get him to the yard and get it solved. There he is. So what's the beef over exactly? A girl that I liked for a while, and uh, she liked me too, but it just he would just interrupting and jumping in. I heard in the street that it's pretty serious, like y'all been beefing for a while. Yeah, and he just like pulled a gun in my face and he was like, um, stay the F away from her. Beefs over women can be the worst beefs. Recently, three murders here in Harrisonburg. All three of them happened over women, and I knew all three guys. It's imperative to get them to settle it. So what happened, man? I heard he was going around talking a lot of crap. That he treated her better. We both know what street beef is. Told him to sign up. Let's do it. It's good that y'all gonna bring to the yard. Just no guns. That's what we want to avoid. In these situations, you don't know who's telling the truth, but I'm pretty sure that both of them had guns involved at one point. A man who feels like the only way he can approach something is with a gun has some fear deep down. He does. When I was younger, I wouldn't have had a problem using a gun but I always still was the guy that preferred to fight. I started boxing first at youth detention. My mother was a drug addict. When I was five years old, our three-story house caught on fire because she was drunk. As you can see, I got the, the burn scar here. You can see I got it on my stomach too. And they started calling me Scarface. My brother died in the house fire. There was times when I felt guilty, like maybe if I had been stronger, I could have got to him and he'd still be alive. It was something that I had a hard time dealing with. And I got into real hardcore drug abuse. I was all around stealing, robbing. When I was 16, I was stabbed in the throat. Here's where I had a tracheotomy. Went to prison, I was a bad person. But when my children came, that made me realize that I had to change. Good. Boxing symbolizes life struggles. That's right. It makes you tough. Good. Because over on my side of town, life is cheap. 
deadly shooting here this afternoon, and shattering a cold and quiet Christmas Eve here in Harrisonburg. The victim, Tremaine Turner. He was sitting on the stoop, waiting on his son to come out, and the guy just came up and opened fire, shot him in the back. He bled out right there in the parking spot, right in front of his child. I was so furious that that had happened to a guy that I know was a good-hearted, good guy. Pissed me off so bad, because I'm like, yo, man, what makes you think that you get any kind of respect for shooting somebody? Just put your hands up and fight. That was the, the light bulb moment. Each month, we actively recruit people who have beefs, bringing these guys over here to stop them from shooting, killing, beating each other. You guys got 20 seconds. Am I encouraging violence where maybe there wouldn't otherwise be any? Oh. This is what I've always said. Humans have been fighting since Jesus walked this earth. That's a fact. There you go. There's certain people, that's how they're wired. They're gonna fight no matter what I do. The only difference is, at least with me, they're fighting in a yard with gloves, a referee, and regulations. I'm done. He's done. 75, 80% of the people who fight over here, it don't escalate any further. And there's a mutual respect formed afterwards. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody coming. But this is not easy. We're heading out now to uh, Hawkins Street, which is one of the rougher streets in the area. We're getting ready to go meet with Jerome. He said he's got a beef with a dude named Theo who has a reputation for shooting and stabbing people around here. It's been in the paper a lot, in the news a lot. And we definitely want to try to get this beef to the yard as opposed to dealing with this guy in the street. What's up with y'all? I'm like, what's the problem? What oh, happened? Oh, me a stack from last year. And ain't trying to pay. You know I mean, a thousand dollars, not twenty dollars. You know, that's that's my rent right there. I mean, is he giving you any reason why he's not paying you? Or he's just basically been excuses. Been excuses. Been excuses. And then the motherfucker want to start talking shit about me. I don't play that. Like we was together, we seen him a couple times, and he just be ducking. Mm. Talking about straps and like, you know what I'm saying? My life's too valuable, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to go out like that. So he talking about pulling guns and shit. I gotta be careful, you know what I'm saying? I'm a felon in probation, you know? Can't have any uh any trouble right now. I got 10 years over my head, you know what I'm saying? So if I can take it to the backyard, they can't do a damn thing about that, you know what I'm saying? I can't get in no trouble for that. I can beat his motherfucking ass and walk away and be happy. Jerome and Theo have records. Both have been locked up. When you got a record, you're always one foot back in jail already. Yo, so what's good, man? You ready to do this? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. going to be tough to get Theo in the yard. So. He's a hot head. We're going to try our best, but I'm bringing this just in case. All right. All right. They call Theo Teflon Ted due to the fact of him being charged with multiple attempted murder charges and going to trial and beating it every time. When you're walking up on somebody who's angry, anything could happen. They could shoot you jump you, anything could happen. So it's always a huge risk. He should be in the front. I just seen him, he's standing back there and I don't trust him. So let's go ahead and walk, walk around in case we got to get back to the whip. Yo. Bro, I swear he was just standing right here. Yo, yo, yo. Where you at? Where you at? He ain't with us. Where you at? Where you at? What's up with this shit, yo? We not here to do a fight here, bro. That's not what this is about. We coming to talk because we want to fight you in the yard. It ain't on no beef and y'all got bats and everything. So you really thought that I would set this up to get him jumped? We just here to talk to try to negotiate y'all to the yard. That's it, bro. That's it. All right, this is the thing about the yard. I don't, I don't give a f I'm not gonna fight fair. I don't give a f That's why I brought my nigga, because I'm not gonna fight fair. You see what I'm saying? I'm not gonna fight fair. If I wanna gouge his eyes, I'll hit him in the nuts, call me a bitch or whatever. I'm gonna do that shit. Ain't nobody gonna be, oh, 30 seconds, get up, 20 seconds, get up. I'm not fighting in the yard. Okay, so let's try to at least get y'all to squash it, man. Both of y'all know if it continue on this path, somebody going to jail and somebody getting hurt. If the nigga but stops running around saying that I owe him money, then we can squash it. It's that simple. <laughs> look, man, look, you know what? About a year and a half ago, right? Uh -huh. The nigga was doing bad, doing, doing horrible. Okay? Right. So, I mean, this was on some street shit. Somehow, money exchanged hands. I paid the nigga back. Everything's the same. I get this good ass job. I cop one or two whips. Right. And he see me more and more progress. Oh, that nigga owes me money. Come on, man. That's bullshit. Come on, bro. So he lying. He's lying. Exactly. Exactly. These two out of everybody that I've ever solved a beef with, 
these would be the two that it needs to get solved with. Because they, they will hurt each other. How old is your shit? For me, it's all about respect because I know that the, the substance of the beef is bullshit. Um, the fact that he's running his mouth and talking shit about me and saying, saying something that's not true about me is, is what really pisses me off. I have a reputation, and a lot of people think that reputation is, 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 is old and, 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 they want, and, some, and that gives people a name, they want to try it. They say, oh, well, he did that, but he's not about that no more. So let me go ahead and get a name off of, off of fucking with this dude or making it come up off of this dude because he has that reputation. If I do that, then I'm going to get more respect. If I let one person do it, then there's going to be 10 people doing it. So I might as well nip it in the butt when one person's doing it. That way I ain't got to worry about the next 10 guys out here trying to show a name for themselves. I'm not going to allow that to happen. Feels definitely dangerous. There's no question about that. But I know from experience, there's a lot more to the story. Let's go! A while back, he ended up fighting my backyard. <laughs> and he lost. <laughs> After that, he wants to save some face and just have that real tough attitude and pick fights out in the streets where he can have friends and weapons. So I don't feel confident that he's going to come over and fight. What do you think I should do with the drone? What do you think I should do? I should, you think I should, should glove up or should I, should I just catch him? You got too much to lose, yo. Is he worth it? That's the catch. Oh. That's how I be feeling. Yeah. You feel what I'm trying to say? I mean, I, I, have, I have a hard time letting shit go. I mean, when I sit back and think about it in hindsight, I mean, I guess I was acting dumb this morning, but I mean, I've been known to be extremely violent, but I, I got kids and shit to think about. Bro, you see this shit, man? When you flashing your money. One, two, three. That's a stack right there. That's a, that's a stack right there. That shit made me feel disrespected. Respect's important, you know what I'm saying? Like, a friendship, a relationship, other people, it don't matter. If you got respect for somebody else, that can go a long way. And then once you lose your respect, you know, it's something, like, it's something like your credit score. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you go to the bank, your credit score low, you're not gonna get no loan. And that's, that's you know how the hood but, is. But, but, but if your credit score high, you know what I'm saying, you got a good credit rating, you got yeah. like, what, a 750, 800? Perfect you way you, to you, say you, that. You get any loan you want. If you step to the yard, I'm gonna be pissed because he stole me money, but he'll gain a little bit of respect for stepping up with me. I'll call it even. I, I won't even be worried about the money. I want to see him in the motherfucking yard. Yeah. I know. I'd be surprised if the cops don't try to pull up. There you go again. Look, look, look. I've never been a fan of cops. Their approach is, you got a gun, we'll lock you up. But that still doesn't get your anger out. Ever since we started fighting in the club, law enforcement, for the most part, has responded positively. And I've had multiple cops come up and say, dude, I like what you're doing. I was, I was proud of that. I really do hope that these guys can, after this, just squash the beef. Yo, what up? Hey, thanks for coming. I'm gonna get you all together and we're gonna try to squash this thing the right way, you know. You with that? That's cool. All right? All right. Appreciate you, man. As a man, I feel like, you know, I showed up, you showed up, let's get in the ring, let's go. I got my shorts on, I got my shirt on, so I'm ready to go. I mean business right now, you know what I'm saying? Got me a bottle of water, you know what I'm saying? But it all come down to him. You know, if he wanna throw hands, let's throw hands. If you're gonna pay me, let's get me paid, you know what I'm saying? So we can put it behind us. You guys ready to rock? So listen, we got some hot heads in the yard, so if there was ever a day there might be a fight, it's today. Just keep your eyes open. I got the Jordanian Nightmare weighing 185 pounds. I got Nerys Way weighing 230 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for street beef? Yeah. Yeah. Let's fight. Let's fight. 
Don't do my thing. Get up. Don't. Don't. Break. Break. You're breaking the win. Good chin. Keep that chin down. Keep that chin down, Diamante. Don't do my thing. You can't get going, Diamante. You can't get going. Back out, push you outside of his elbow. He's got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, down. Hey, go to decision. Jordan is the nightmare. Yeah. If I see him in the street, even alone, I have nothing to him but respect. The fact that he came in here and he decided to solve beef with me in the yard, it means a lot to me. Good fight, you, Monte. So how you feeling? We got to settle what we had. I'm not gonna say he's the better man, but I'll be back. You fought hard, brother. Listen, I ain't just saying this because your mother here. He the toughest kid I've ever seen. I can't do nothing but respect it. So you feel it done and over with for now? And yeah, it's done and over with for now. Thank you, brother. Hey, Theo, Jerron, we're going to step up to the train tracks and, and talk real quick. Our goal is to settle beefs. We don't always got to fight, though, to settle the beef. Theo's not into fighting, but I may at least be able to get them to get together and agree to squash this somehow. I, I feel like there's a misunderstanding, personally. But I know y'all is as heated about it. Sometimes motherfuckers be beefing and neither one of them's wrong. They both are right in one way or another. So neither one of y'all gotta be wrong. I'm gonna step in and pay what he feels you owe him. And then we can squash it. I'm doing that just to stop the bullshit. Cause that's what we supposed to do anyways. That's what we stand for. So, I mean, could y'all squash it if I do that? What do you think? I bro? mean, as long as my boy ain't running around telling people that I want money, I'm good. So you let me say this. Do money he accepts it. He accepts it. But but can y'all actually walk away and not say nothing else about each other? That's what I'm saying. Because what's going to start it again is the talking. You get your bread one way or another. Are you, you down to, to just say? It? Either get the paper or get in the yard. Either way, you know what I'm saying. I'm down to get a paper. I know y'all angry. At least dap up and let's walk away. No more beef. All right. Appreciate it. I showed up today because Scarface asked me to show up and uh, I want to settle this problem uh, the most responsible way uh, as opposed to the way I was trying to settle it earlier because there could be serious repercussions later. That's what we do. Even if it stops two murders a year, that's two lives that were saved. It feels good to be the good guy for once because I ain't always been that positive guy. If I can spend the rest of my life being seen as positive, that's the goal.